Hello again, this is Kathy from KMBurk.com and today I'm going to go a little bit further in um, how to import your pre old presentation into your new company template. Um, I had a customer that needed a little bit more insight on how to do this. Um, before we actually get started, what I want to do is show you one of the most important features of PowerPoint and that is when you're inserting a slide, at the top right here and I'm using PowerPoint 2007 for those of you still on 2003 so you're gonna have to look for the buttons that actually house these nice little images right here and it should be in the insert tab I believe so if you look down here you're gonna see this little window that has your title slide your title and content section header to content comparison title only and so on you really want to use these features um, or these layouts um, because they actually make the transition of your template smoother. Without them, you have to go in and manually make all of the adjustments. So it's always smarter um, or more efficient to use the actual layouts that come with PowerPoint. Um, and again, these being the layouts. So when you want bullets, you know, this is what you want to use. If you want a table, this is what you want to use. This is the most commonly used layout in all of PowerPoint. I think the second one is probably this one right here. Um, I think this one is new to 2007 only, but I'm not sure. I can't remember far, you know, that far back for 2003. And of course, the title only when you want to insert, you know, images. With 2007, you do have the um, image option down here, which is great. So make sure that you're using these. Um, and you can usually tell by right clicking on your slide and going to the layout and you'll see which one you're actually using. So right here it tells me I'm using the title slide. Um, otherwise it's going to tell you either blank or title only and you're going to want to convert them to whatever they should be. So let's pretend that this should be a you know, uh, bullet uh, slide. So I would change it to that and start entering my bullets. Okay, so again, make sure that you're actually, you know, using the layouts. If you're not, you're going to have to go in and, like I said before, manually make those changes or, um, you know, uh, add the layout that you actually need. Um, the other thing that you, if you find that you are using the correct layout, all you need to do is just hit reset slide and it should reset everything for you. If you end up hitting reset slide and you find that some of your elements are not lining correctly or that something else popped up in its place, it's because you didn't use the correct um, box. Uh, so just go ahead and use the one that's provided. So just copy and paste that in and I'll show you how when we transfer these over. So we're here um, in the normal view. If you look on the bottom right near the um, zoom in zoom out area on the bottom right here you'll see that there is normal slide sorter and slideshow what we want to do right now is go to slide sorter so I have that there and being that this is already highlighted and you can tell that it's highlighted because there's that lovely little orange around it I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete because we don't need that slide anymore so once that is done I'm gonna switch over to the old presentation and again I'm gonna go to, gonna go to the bottom right here and I'm going to select the slide sorter and there are several ways that you can actually select all of these to copy them over and move them to um, your new presentation. One, you can go to the bottom right of the screen, left click with your mouse button, hold it and drag all the way up as you can see they just got highlighted and selected because they're all in that nice little orange glow. Um, the other way that you can do this is to on your keyboard press the control key and hold it while you press the A key and then let go and that selects them all. Um, and then you can go ahead and press that control key again and hold the uh, C button or the C key and that copies everything. So then once you've done that you're going to switch over to your template and you're going to go ahead and either control V as in Victor to paste or you can right click on your screen in a blank area and then left click on paste and that will also drop it in. So now that that's all loaded we're going to go ahead and double click here the first one and see what's going on here and why it didn't migrate over. Um, so I'm actually going to right click and go to my layout and see what's happening and that's what's happening. Okay this is perfect. So I'm going to click on title slide because that's what I need it to use. 
and now it just throws it right into the new template. Now, this is a very simple template, so I'm just using this, you know, because it's just easier. Um, and again, same thing here. You're going to right click, you're going to left click on the layout that you need, and that would be the title and content because as you see, these are from the old theme or template. So we want to use the new ones, and you can tell because they're all gray. So I'm going to click there and see this is a perfect example of what I was saying before how if you end up seeing something pop up in the background it's because you didn't use the correct um, um, box provided by PowerPoint so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can select this down in the background here and okay copy and paste it right in and you've got this little feature that says right here paste options and I want it to use the destination theme okay so that's all set so I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore that and then I'm gonna click here which is the old one and hit delete and there we go and you know that you've done it correctly because you right click again and hit reset slide and bam there it is and you do want to hit reset slide because as you can see that one actually had bolding in it which we don't want so then you go to the next one and this one will probably need some manual work so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and hit layout and I'm going to choose title and content which is going to give me a bit of a problem because of the way that this is laid out but it's the easiest one to use so click that and as you can see this needs to be added in so what I'm gonna do to make this easy is I'm gonna highlight this table right here I'm going to cut and then I'm going to click in this box actually I'm going to click on the box and I'm going to paste and there we go so that's all set so that really didn't take too much work but as you can see the logo here on the bottom right is not um, showing it's being covered up so you're going to want to play around with that a little bit and with this one you know you can actually um, move it up a little and it's still not going to show so you're gonna have to work around with that you know play around with it and make it um, work I'm gonna keep on moving down just for a few more slides just to show you you know the other things that you can actually end up doing this one right here if you right click whoops and again you want to right click off of all of the boxes just in a blank area of the you know slide I'm going to use for this one the two content and the reason why is because one is bullets on the left and then on the right you have images now obviously there are two images but that's okay you can actually work with that a little bit better with this so I'm gonna go ahead and left click on that there we go this actually came in perfectly I'm going to click on this image and I'm gonna control X which is cut or you can use your um, menus up on top here I like to use the keyboard shortcuts because it's faster for me and then I'm going to rather than click in I'm gonna click on the box and then I'm gonna paste it in and there you go so now I just go ahead and drag that up to where I want it and I'm gonna take this one and bring it over and actually the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and select them both you hold the uh, shift key to select both of them or you can click and drag to highlight both of them and go up to the arrange button up here on the top and you're gonna click on center and then you can just go ahead and mute, use your mouse to bring them over a little bit so that it's just a little nicer on the eyes. So once that's done, I'm going to, oh, and I notice here that we have some extra as I click down here on the bottom, I notice that we have extra spacing in the box. So I'm going to get rid of that by backspacing and then I'm going to hit delete in case there's any more. Okay, so now that that's done, okay, there we go. Now I'm going to right click again on the slide and I'm going to hit reset slide to see what happens and I didn't like that. So if you click on the um, text box here you come up with this little auto fit options menu and if you click on the little down arrow you just click on auto fit text placeholder and it will adjust that automatically and then again here we want to go ahead and bring this puppy back up because he reset himself to what the template has and there you go you're all set so you're basically just going to keep on doing that for each slide that you come across so again here this one should actually work in the um, to content which they had it set up in the content page I don't know what that is I'm assuming that's just the title and content um, so we're gonna go ahead and use the to content again I take this highlight it um, cut it 
and then I select the box, not in the box, on the box, and I paste it in. And then I right click and I reset the slide. And then again, it makes it a little larger than it should. So you go ahead and select the box and then hit auto fit text to placeholder. And so again, you know, just keep going through your presentation and doing that and you should be all set. Um, that is all that I'm going to do for today. If you have any other questions, um, go ahead and leave them on my website um, on this post, uh, which you'll find. Um, and you can leave them in the comment section and I will go ahead and reply. Um, and that's it for now. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope this helped you. And again, if not, please, you know, contact me on my website, kmburk.com. That's K like Kathy, M like Mary, B like boy, U-R-C-K.com. And thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.